Hello, welcome to Southern Wreaths. If you haven't yet, please consider subscribing. Today I'm going to make this really cute, vintage looking snowman wreath. These are the supplies I'm going to use to make this wreath. I don't use the sign. I'm going to start by adding pipe cleaners to my 14 inch wire frame. I like to pick a pipe cleaner color that will match the ribbon or accent or some part of my wreath, the mesh. Um, just because the way I finish off my pipe cleaners, you can see them. But I'm going to start by adding center crossbar. On the outside, I'm going to pick just one random crossbar and then lay the pipe cleaner along the frame. And where that ends, I'm going to add my next one. And I twist three times and I do it pretty tight. It's not so tight that it bends the wires, but it's tight enough to keep it in place. And I'll do this all the way around. So I decided I needed something to cover the bottom before I added my green and red mesh. Um, and I had this jute. I don't usually do poofs with 10 inch mesh. This might be 12 inch, but I usually like to do 21 inches because it covers better and it makes better poofs. But this is all I had. And I really like the color with what, because uh, it matched the other mesh that I have. So I'm just gonna do uh, 10 inch poofs all the way around using this mesh. And I just like to pick a spot that's next to a pipe cleaner, uh, attach it to the frame with a zip tie, and then I'll just trim away the part that's left over. And then I, I should have pushed my pipe cleaner back over, but I do that before I'm done. I'm just using my mat to measure out 10 inches. And this doesn't do anything too pretty or too fancy. It just helps cover the frame so you can't see it through. You don't want to see the frame when you're done with everything. I'm just pulling out at 10 inches. I try to keep my hand in like a C shape. And then I'll just add it to the pipe cleaner and I twist one time because I'm still gonna add more things. I'll do this all the way around the outside. And then once I'm done with that, I will push it up the uh, mesh into the center. And I like to add it to the closest um, pipe cleaner. And then that way I can just continue going around. It just like it pulls it into the center so I don't have a diagonal um, line of mesh. I ran out of that one roll, so I had just this little bit left in this one. So I'm just making a teeny tiny poof right there. And you won't see that under the mesh. And then I'm just gonna make a regular size poof out of the excess. And all I did was just add it into the into the pipe cleaner and just twisted it. I just added it on top. And then I will trim it away to make it look nicer. Now with the leftover, I'm going to push through to the back and attach it to the frame with a zip tie. I just like to pull it through. That way I don't have any sticking out of the front. I am using longer zip ties because I ran out of the smaller ones, but you wouldn't need one that big. Okay, so I'm going to cut this mesh at 25 inches. My board only goes to 24 inches, so I like to scoot it over one inch and keep my fingers there, and then I'll push it to the center of the mat. This just makes it where I don't have really deep gouges in the same spot. So like there, I pushed it over to 10, so I remember to cut it 10. And I'll cut 14 25 inch pieces of that mesh. And that's a 10 inch mesh. And now I'm just going to go around and open the outside ties and push the inside ones out of the way. This just makes it easier to add them. I'm going to do the ruffle method with the, the red and green and jute colored mesh. And I just like to stick something heavy at the end. And this one was kind of fraying a little bit, so I like to fold down the first part of it. And this just helps with the little pieces that will come loose. And then I'm using that brown line in the middle as a guide to just accordion fold or ruffle. All right, I'm going to add it to the pipe cleaner, and I'm going to twist once. And then I like to fan out 
the ruffle so it kind of makes a circle it, i just think it covers better and it looks really pretty and everything looks really uniform when you're done here i'll show you again and at the end it doesn't really show it but i am tucking in that last little piece the same as i do at the beginning it's just like my last uh ruffle i kind of tuck it under and that just like i said it helps from showing all of the little pieces that will come unraveled and then for my last piece i am going to fluff that ruffle up against all of the pieces around so you kind of want to fluff them up against each other so that they are out and not push down into the wreath where you can't see them i'm going to use this three inch ribbon as well as a two inch ribbon and this one i am going to do 14 of each because i'm only using two different kinds of ribbon and I'm just going to use my piece of cardboard that's 12 inches and wrap it around. I like to do it seven times. If you go too big, um, your strips will be longer than 12 inches. It'll get really bulky. But I'll go ahead and cut all of my ribbon. And then I like to dovetail the ends. So I'm just folding it in half, like hot dog way. And then I'm just going to cut from the wire to the inside in a diagonal motion or direction and that gives me a pretty dovetail All right and i like to go through and stack the ribbon the way i'm going to add it to the wreath it just it's easier for me to add it that way and i also like to start adding the ribbon to the inside before i add it to the outside and that's just because i tend to make a mess of the ribbon for some reason my hands will lay across the outside and then I have to go back through and fix all the ribbon anyway so it's better to just do it from the inside out for me anyway um, and I didn't have a glue stick so I'm just using my pen to roll down the pipe cleaners in the middle and then I'll just fan out my ribbon here I'll show you again I fold in half to find and I crease the center and then once I find the center I'll pinch it together kind of gather it and then I'll add it to my pipe cleaner. I'll twist three times to complete it and then roll it down with my pin. And I'll do this all the way around, inside and outside. All right, here's my last piece. The only thing I do different on the outside is one, sometimes I have to hold the frame in place with my pinky because it'll slide across the desk. And two, I don't fluff them out the same. Um, in the center, it's easier to make an X on the outside, you kind of have to make the X different. Um, you pull more towards the outside and not so much towards the inside. Just because I don't like my ribbon to overlap too much because you'll lose it. I like to be able to see most of the ribbon. See there, I didn't pull it like into a full X. It's just kind of like a, a butterfly is kind of what it reminds me of. But that's what it looks like without adding anything else. And that alone is, I think, really pretty. I really love these colors for Christmas. I didn't want to use the staple on this sign uh, because I knew it was going to go through. So I'm just going to try hot glue. I use Gorilla hot glue, so it usually holds really well. Now to add my snowman, I'm going to use scissors to cut. Just cut it or poke it any way that you can. That's the best way to do it when you're adding some kind of uh, stuffed animal. But I'll do that in two places, the bottom and the top. And if you don't want to cut your stuffed animal you can probably wrap wire around certain parts of it but this has always worked well for me and then I'll just speed it through to the back and wrap it around the frame and I do it the same for the top and the bottom all right and now I've got my sign it's dry and ready to be added and again I do the same thing I feed the pipe cleaner through to the back to the back and wrap it around the frame and I kind of did it at an angle I thought it looked cute beside the snowman but that's it that's how I made my rustic looking snowman let it snow wreath if you have any questions please leave them in the comments below or you can email me at craftingwithlee at yahoo.com thanks so much for watching and if y'all learned anything today or if you like my videos please like share and subscribe thank you